OCO, free thinkers. CEO Freethinkers. It's Dane Calloway. Cannon, Cannon. the fuck? 
So let me um let me quickly test. I gotta test out, make sure the mic good. Real quick, we good? The mic sound good. Y'all can hear me clear. OCO, OCO. We loud and clear. But I'm wiping off my glasses so I can see. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you all are doing well. Loud and clear. Excellent. Excellent. I uh, look like I'm missing something. Um, oh, let me open this up. Yeah, honey, you got to remind me. I need a I need to buy a four a fourth monitor. I need one more monitor. Like I actually thought three monitors would be overdoing it, but I, I see a need for a fourth monitor. I gotta get one more. Oh, see you everyone, how y'all doing? I wanted, um, I wanted to give people some time to get up in here. Um, I know I'm running a tad bit late. My wife made me a plate. And you know, I had the stuck face. And I was like, baby, right now? She was like, today. And I started to put my shoes on so we could go on a date. But I was like, nah, nah, nah. I can't let the people wait. It's a few things that we got to state. Okay, let me stop. Let me, anyway, so let me, um, all right, hold on. Let me jump to this other screen because I'm going to hurry up and get into it. Then I can do my shout outs once I switch to that screen. Uh, let me, let me jump to this real quick, y'all. OCO, Freethinkers, you're now tuned into the realest historian on the planet. Planet. This brother, he is raising some serious questions. He's here to make you think. What I'm trying to do is get our people to understand that we have been lied to all the way around about our history. history. Can you name any other group of people, no matter their skin complexion, that are being labeled primarily as the name of two continents? Not two countries, two continents. It's up. It's up. That is called a misnomer, which is the act of applying a wrong name to some person or thing. The best teacher you wish you had in school. Have your pens and paper handy and get ready to take notes. Get ready to take notes. I want y'all to check out notes. somebody named Dane notes. Calloway. Dane Calloway? Look, at, look into Dane Calloway. He has a lot of information about how this whole shit was told in reverse. Okay, where they say, oh, we came from Africa over here. No, a lot of us was already here. And information that was put together by a man by the name of Dane Calloway, who is also questioning the slave trade. And he's done some remarkable videos on the history of the slave trade in the United States. And he's gone back down the food chain and gone back down the line. And he's realized that a lot of the so-called African-Americans in the United States are not African at all. They're actually Native Americans because the slave Life trade did not happen the way we were told that it happened. It's Dane Calloway. Go and watch this man's channel, man. This dude is phenomenal. I'm not saying African American because they're not African American. They're the Aboriginals because they were the, they were the true Native Americans. Set it on fire, fire. They're the copper color race. Look up Dane Calloway and watch his fucking shows. That man, I mean, Dane Calloway on YouTube. Oh my God. I mean, he is fucking beyond brilliant. The research he does. Ooh, he goes way deep into this shit. Relax and take notes. It's Dane Calloway on I'm Just Here to Make You Think Radio. 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 Oh, 
Okay. Okay. I I see it too, see Blue Dreamer. Give me one second. Hold up. Hold on. Let me cut that echo off. I see what's going on. Oh no. Let me let me fix that real quick. I'm gonna fix that right now. Um. <clears throat> Okay, hold on. Let me go. Let me go just chatting. Let me go just chatting. It should be there now. It should be there now. Blue Dreamer, it should be fixed. Let me double check. Uh, <clears throat> let me double check. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think. Wait, something happened to it. It's, it's, uh, See, they did an update. That's what happened when they did the update. I guess I got to do all of that again. Let me double check. Yeah, because I don't even see. Nope, I don't see it. Wait, it just came up on my side. Oh, no, there you go. It's there now. It's there now. It's working now. All right, hold up. I got it. So it's working now. Hold on. My wife just texted me. It's there. All right. So everybody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shout out to my wife and my mods. <laughs> yeah, it's fixed now. Yeah. All right. Let me drop a bomb. And let me throw this echo on right now. So, uh... Let me do my shout outs real quick. You know, I'm, I apologize for the hiccup, but this thing be live, baby. This thing be live, man. Hey. Set it on fire. 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 Let me shout out uh, to Tiberia Moore. She said, Halito, OCO sister, been a member for 24 months in a row. It's up. Houston Briscoe, been a member for. Uh, Two months in a row. I appreciate that. The Pharaoh Kid been a member. Wow. For 46 months in a row. <laughs> oh, man. Man. James, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Uh... Lawrence, thank you for becoming a member. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just me. Been a member for 50 months in a row. Y'all going crazy. I appreciate that love. Marvin, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. So who we got in the building today? Let me see y'all in the chat. Who we got in the building today? San Diego in the building. What's up? What's up? Huh? Wait, is my echo on? It is. All right. Palm Beach, Florida in the building. I see you. Nashville in the building. LA in the building. North Carolina in the building. St. Louis in the building. You know how we do when it's live out here. If y'all checking this out later, and y'all miss the goodness when it's live and full effect, you can skip up on this part. I may even drop the timestamps, but I gotta holler at my folks that's here with me right now. Miami in the building. H Tan in the building. DMV in the building. That's DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Richmond VA in the building. What up, Richmond? Flint, Michigan in the building. Hey, 
Mexico checking in. What up, Mexico? Chicago in the building. Uh, Boat my Texas in the building. Duval in the building. Eat to a river in the building. I see Duval heavy. I see y'all. Bay Area is in the building. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Chicago in the building. Uh, Belleville in the building. Jersey in the building. Connecticut in the building. Um, Flint, Michigan in the building. Thank you, Sister Becky, for becoming a member. I appreciate that. What up, Gary? Been a member for uh, 16 months in a row. It's up. Family is everything. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Dallas, Texas checking in. Nashville, Tennessee. Y'all know y'all, I'm going to say Tennessee every time. Fort Worth, Texas in the building. Naptown in the building. Allentown, Pennsylvania in the building. Be more in the building. What up, yo? Ohio in the building. Turtle Island in the building. Hey. South Jersey in the building, Allentown in the building, Detroit in the building, Gary, Indiana in the building. I see you, Gary, Indiana. I see you up in here, heavy. Boston, what up? Man, Massachusetts, LA, Minnesota. I think that said Minnesota. Brooklyn and Bro Bro Brooklyn in the house. What up, Ben Why? What up, Philly? What up, Kentucky? What up, Alabama? What up, Mississippi? Orange County, California in the building. Cleveland, Ohio. Greenville, Mississippi. Louisville, Kentucky. Harlem in the building. Tampa in the building. Uh, somebody said Flossie, Brooklyn, New York in the building. Brooklyn, check it out. Hey, Brooklyn, they hit heavy. I see y'all a lot. Buffalo, New York in the building. Man. Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go, I got it. Go. I got Miami it. Gardens in the building. Cincinnati, Ohio in the building. Youngstown, Ohio in the building. Let's go. Los Angeles, Brick City, Cincinnati, New Jersey, Long Beach, Cali, Miami Gardens, Florida in the building. Man, GA in the building. What up, Georgia? What part of Georgia? You gotta say what part. What up, Jamaica? Hey. hey. Bro, 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 bro. What up, Jamaica? What's going on? Birmingham, UK in the building. What up, UK? Waycross, Georgia in the building. Chicago, Low End City in the building. Huh? Atlanta in the building. Decade in the building. Savannah, they go Georgia. Make it, there y'all go. Augusta, what up, Oklahoma? Baton Rouge. Polk County, Florida in the building. Alaska in the building, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Ferro, PA, I see you. Greensboro, North Carolina, North Kakilaki in the building. I ain't got no South Carolina in here. Stop playing with me. South Central, I see you. They go North Carolina. Culver to Georgia. Chicago, Richmond, VA, H Town in the building, Houston, Texas, hey, Jacksonville, Florida, Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, Waco, Texas in the building, uh, Buford, okay, South Carolina, let's go, all right, Charlotte in the building, H Town, heavy in here, Hampton, VA, oh, that's close to home, hey. That's close. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, we're running there in the building. She ain't playing with him. Running there, been a member for 12 months in a row. She said, oh, see yo, oh, see yo. Oh, see yo, sister. Wait a minute. And right behind that, Set it on fire. Fire. she dropped a dope fire. big donation. Hey, y'all. Definitely show love for running there in the chat if you can. The sister always show up and show love each and every time. I appreciate that. And I see a couple of people ringing off on the um on the cash app. I'm about to shout y'all out in a second too. Give me a sec. 
But I appreciate that all the love and everything. Y'all know I don't be asking for none of that. So when y'all do that, out the kindness of your heart, that is very, very much appreciated. Yeah, that, I appreciate y'all showing love to run it there in the chat. Shout out to the sister, Waynesboro, Mississippi. Huh? Yo, matter of fact, Florence. What up, Florence? Hold up. Set it on fire. Let me set it on fire for all the moderators. The moderators and administrators taking care of the chats and the and the thirteen percent community server. In fact, if you haven't already, definitely join the thirteen percent community server where we, as the people, get together, like-minded people, to do any and all things that's all positive for our people without having to explain the situation live in front of everybody and which leads me to the conversation matter of fact what y'all think hold on I, 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 just in case let me give y'all a boat i'm gonna let, let me go to i'm gonna go to uh I'm gonna go to main screen. Nah, is main screen? Yeah. I'm gonna go to main screen, right? And I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds real quick for y'all to pinpoint what we about to talk about right here. Huh? What we about to talk about right here. Some of y'all may have seen this on TikTok, but if not, I'm about to break this thing down because I explained this so much on my channel and you would not believe it but i'm going to explain it to you anyway so i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you 30 seconds 30 seconds here we go yeah dna let that shit bang you said in the chat what you think we talking about The time is up. Okay, I saw a lot of people were saying our land, immigration, okay. Impersonators, I right. Liars, exact, okay. They air hustling hard, all of y'all are correct. Every single one of y'all are correct. And yes, I made that beat, you know, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I just, let me drop a ball for myself, but. Let me shout out to Sean. Thank you for the five gifted, Sean. I appreciate that. And woo, Mr. Jonathan West been a member for 60 months in a row. Woo. I appreciate that, brother. So listen, I'm gonna get into it because I gotta show y'all this. This is this is one of those conversations that happened on Twitter that they tried to get rid of immediately. In fact, when this was put up on, I mean not Twitter, TikTok. When it was put up on TikTok, that was it. It was just for one day. And I was like, um, oh, this is major. And I mean, because over the years, while creating content for YouTube and other social media platforms, I repeatedly uh, been asked the same question by viewers. They often ask, but what's the end goal, Dane? What's the solution, Dane? Or uh, what can we do with all of this information that you present, Dane? To be honest, I answered uh, so many. I, I shared my answer verbally many times during my live streams like this one. And I have also provided detailed information, solutions, and my opinion on specific approaches or ideas that uh, we should implement as a society. Some of you may recall me regurgitating some of this information previously and recently because of the numerous new viewers uh, that we have accumulated over time here on the channel, which is a great thing, really. This is all great. And I'm thankful that more and more people are learning about the past stories of their individual families. Not only that, but more people have been willing to step forward and do something about the issues that we face daily as people who are being mislabeled as whatever stranger wants to refer to us as. Mainly 
misnomers, right? Like black and African American, for example. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for those who take risks and make sacrifices to share the truth with others, even if it means disrupting their daily routine or lifestyle. Right? This is similar to my journey and presenting the truth in the ways that I have done so far for people ever since uh, I began doing this back in what 2015 on Facebook and then 2016 on YouTube. Just know that you all are appreciated and all of our efforts will bring about the necessary changes much sooner than you think. Now, this is me. I, me, I see that it's working. I understand that the situation is improving and it's going in our favor every day to benefit our people. I frequently receive messages from individuals who share their personal stories with me. They DM me. Then they inform me about what they found, for example, about their family history. Uh, they, they include documents. They include pictures of their long lost family members and more importantly, their success stories of reclaiming land that their ancestors once owned. And that part right there, reclaiming our land, that part right there. I mean, it's going to be more to it, but that is what we're about to discuss with today's topic, because not only have I been teaching and preaching about this particular topic for years now, but People took my work seriously enough to do something about it for their own benefit. And it worked. Of course. Of course, because I'm not lying. I have not been lying ever since I introduced myself and my work to the World Wide Web. Yeah, I, I do tell my viewers not to believe me and to do their own research. <laughs> That's right. I advise my viewers all the time not to solely rely on my presentations and to conduct their own research because when a person decides to fact check me by doing their own research investigation on the information that I present, they would discover the truth. They would discover the truth. It's just that simple. I'm confident that the information I present is accurate, valid, and truthful, especially since it has been confirmed every time by every person who engages with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis or comments about uh, the information somewhere on social media. I'm not here to play games with people or waste my time with nonsense from people. We have things to do. <clears throat> and I want to see the positive changes made in my lifetime. During my investigative research, I discovered several problems that originated in the past and found solutions to them. Some solutions I provided that you may recall was number one, remember we talked about the government. And, and, hold on. Since the government, um, how can I explain this? Since the government acquired its powers de facto, hold on, matter of fact, let me, let me, huh. oh yeah, we about to break this down. Hold on, let me take this down. Let me bring this down. Yeah, let's do this right now. Let's get into it. Cause y'all gotta understand I know it's, it's going to fly over certain people's heads, but it depends. Some some people may not. Some people it may. And I understand that. But y'all got to understand. When you see this word, for example, and let me, hold on, I'm going to blow it up. Am I on the right screen? Hold on, let me get on the right screen. Let me let me go right here. I, I should, I, sh I should take y'all to the classroom, but I ain't, I ain't. We we gonna deal with that later. De facto, right? Let me let me put this in the middle. Can y'all see this? Let me make this as large as possible. Let's talk about this word right here. 
because that's how the government acquired its powers. De facto meaning they going to say reality, but it's actually, actually done through illegitimate means. Listen, that's how the government acquired its power. De facto. Illegitimate means. Actual illegitimate re means. Like stealing land. <laughs> and forcing people under their foreign rulership. For example. And don't forget that I explained in the past that this is a quasi. I'm going to put this up here too. Hold up. Quasi. Quasi corporation. A quasi corporation means that it is acting as if. So let me let me put okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this here so you can see de facto, right? Make it a little large. And then acting as if because this is important you got to remember this so when you hear this stuff when i'm when i'm getting ready to play when you hear it you're gonna be like okay i recall and some of you may even recall me going over this in before but i mean again you got to be freshly reminded because some things have to get done because things are getting done and i'm talking about for all people but especially mine because my people are not freaking paying attention to what needs to be done for our benefit in order for us to get this ball rolling in a legal sense. So the quasi corporation means that they're acting as if it is a government when it's not, when it's not, it is simply just a business, just like any other business. And once you know that, then we as a people can do something about it to prevent this foreign government from controlling our assets, our, our properties, our paychecks, our rights, or anything else that is rightfully owed to us. Now, since I got the facto up there, I got to tell you about the jury. And I have before, but as a reminder, for those that didn't get a chance to see those videos and I mean, my wife and I even have a book out, you know what I'm saying? Called uh, Fixing America's Broken Promise on the same topic. But let me put this up right now. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the middle as well. Let me bring that to about right here, right? Because this is what you gotta know. <laughs> you gotta know this stuff. You gotta know. So it's like the opposite of the fact though, because, okay, I shared information detailing how we as a people can act in du jour. Meaning, okay, it means lawful, lawful means. I'll, I'll say it that way. Lawful means. If you're going to do something, you're going to do it in lawful means. Let me let me bring this up. I'm going to keep it up. Uh, wait, because I don't want it to get confused. Come on down to about right there. Okay. Lawful means, right? So, like, you do this, like, if you was to, you know, control what you have going on on your land that you lawfully own you do you do business or, or you conduct trade and commerce upon your lands domestically and inter internationally de jure and you you do not allow a foreign government to act in democracy hear me out I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, Dane, again, I went over and I'm gonna keep repeating this because I've been repeating this. I showed you the difference between Republic, a Republic and a democracy. A democracy is, okay, I'm gonna put it up here as I'm talking. The people getting it wrong. And notice how, I remember that video I showed y'all where all of those, um. Uh, news stations were kept saying we got to do this and such and such for democracy, 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 right? But I was trying to explain to y'all, and matter of fact, I put out a few documentaries on this, along with the book, by the way, that democracy is just a coded way of saying this. 
It's just a coded way. Shoot. So I might as well say equals. <laughs> Democracy is church and state. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Well, could we go further? I'm, I'm about to explain this. If, if y'all ready for me to go even deeper, like right now, flood the chat right now. Flood the chat. Fire emojis, bow and arrows, feathers. F burn it up. Tear the chatter. Tear the chatter. Let's do it. Set it on fire. fire. Come on. Fire. I'm about to go deep because this is what's needed. And I don't know how YouTube is going to act. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Because every time I put out topics or uh, videos about this particular topic, they have an issue with it because we're actually telling people solutions to the issues at hand. And they purposely don't allow people to watch it. I don't know. I don't know why that is. But let's go. So I, I explained why this was the case, why democracy is church and state. I provided documents and my wife and I what a great book about it. Like I said, it's called America's Broken Promise. Shameless plug, which you can order right now on our website at DameMakeYouThink.com. But I want to quote something from the book. Hold on. Real quick, let me get it. Because I want to quickly quote something from this book because I want to go over that part right there, church and state. Real quick, okay. Because the book explains that. Yes, and that's true. Religion does influence government policy. Still today, to the point where there was no actual separation between church and the state, simply because imposing policies in a state is the exact same as impo imposing religious beliefs in a church. Now, I'm about to quote something. According to... According to Britannica Encyclopedia, on the subject of church and state, it says that, quote, in the 17th century, there were few who believed that diversity of religious belief and a church unconnected with the civil power were possible in a unified state. Common religious standards were looked upon as a principle support of the political order. The Puritans, for example, who fled religious persecution in England in the 17th century enforced ridged conformity to church ideas among settlers in the American colonies. So we talking about the beginning stages here, y'all. Puritanism is, quote, a religious form, excuse me, a religious reform movement in the late 16th and 17th centuries that sought to purify the Church of England of the remnants of the Roman Catholic pottery, pottery, and that the Puritans claimed that had been retained, okay, after the religious settlement reached early in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, Puritans became noted in the 17th century for a spirit of moral and religious earnestness that informed their whole way of life. And they saw through church reform to make their lifestyle the pattern for the whole nation. Their efforts to transform the nation contributed both to the Civil War in England and to the founding of colonies in America as working models of the Puritan way of life. Their efforts to transform the nation contributed to uh, the Civil War in England and to the founding of colonies in America as working models of the Puritan way of life. Ladies and gentlemen, church is state. State is church. That is the democracy. You hear the term public and republic, reestablishing it with the pup. <laughs> Reestablishing it with the public. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> now also previously, I also explained how we could get our lands back by placing 
all of our assets inside of a trust privately. I explained this so many different times, but that press that that trust has to be pri uh, a private trust. You could do family trust as well, created by you or one of your family members as the trustee. I broke this down. I have if you do not understand where I'm coming from, I have multiple multiple videos about this on the channel now. A private trust is used by everybody who is familiar with it and knows that a government cannot touch a private trust in anything inside of it. Any assets, if you put your money in it, if you put your corporations in it, if you put your houses in it, if you put your cars in it, if you put your land in it, they can't touch it. They can't touch it. For example, and but because I'm getting ready to play the video, but for example, right now, do you know, and I know I've used this example multiple different times, but I know certain people may not have heard me state this. Each state that we live in right now has owners. How do we know this? Because each state stems from a state and a state of an owner. That a state is located inside of that individual or corporation's private trust which you cannot touch and this is why you cannot discover the true owner of each estate there are 13 estates just like there are 13 families 13 districts 13 banks the elevator can't go to the 13th floor these people work in code okay and who are these people the so-called one percenters some of you may see may say elitists some of you may say Illuminati. The whole point is this. These people do not have our best interests in mind at all. And it doesn't matter your skin complexion. It doesn't. Not to them. They are about making large corporations larger and in control of each and every aspect of those corporations and everybody's lives that's in between. For example, they mushed our people to the inner cities because we were on the outskirts, right? I'm talking about the Niji. Do you know now they're trying to push us out of the inner cities and push us to the outskirts? And now they're trying to work the total opposite way? Why you think that is? Not only that, they want, they, they're purposely raising the so-called value up of the dollar bill. So what could crash or burn? all those mid to you know maybe top mid banks could crash so they can have more control over the trade which is the i mean in this sense that particular portion will be the money so commerce and say all right now this we're going to do away with the dollar bill this is this is now the currency wait a minute okay i hit the i hit the wrong chord this is now the currency so they did away, I'm gonna say this again because I hit the wrong chord. They did away or doing away with the dollar bill. Now they're trying to implement a new currency so they can have more control. They still wanna do it by remote control. Make it digital. That way they don't have to lift a finger. I mean, all they gotta do is crawl on the other side of their bed and pull open a laptop, maybe hit one button, that's it. But who's to say who died and put them in charge? So I'm going to I'm going to play a particular video again right now uh, that uh, almost went viral on TikTok, but they took it down. And I'm going to be and this may piss some people off, but I'm going to be pausing to get my commentary. If you don't like that, hey, you may be on the wrong channel, but I'm going to be pausing to give my commentary on certain certain points uh, that these people are making. Let me get this up right now. And hopefully you could hear this. All right. Let me bring this up. Okay. All right, here's the video. Make this larger. Wait, no, go like that. All right, you're going to be able to hear them. Shh, hold up. Let me make sure I got everything turned up. You're going to be able to hear them. I'm about to get ready to play. Here we go. Well, so what I think it's important to note is that just about every county right now is trying to steal your land. Not just trying to steal it. And they usually do it through tacit, non-consensual agreements. So when you... 
Okay, let me quickly, before we get knee deep into this conversation, were you all able to hear what she said? If not, let me know, then I'll try to do a boost to try to turn it up. Was it too low on your side? And be real, was it too low? You couldn't hear it? It was low? Okay, hold up. Okay, so let me do a boost. And what I'm going to do is start it from the top one more time, and you all let me know that you can hear it. I'm boosting it now. ...is that just about every county right now is trying to steal your land. Not just trying, to steal it. And they usually do it through tacit, non-consensual agreements. So when you signed or you registered uh, to vote here, when you signed a, a marriage certificate, when you... Was that better? That's better? Okay, I see y'all in the chat. All right. All right, here we go. So we're going to start from the top. Now, I need y'all to listen closely because, again, a lot of what these ladies are going to be stating, I have you are going to recognize because I brought this to your attention numerous times. But the point that I'm making here, whew, okay, never mind. Let me let it play. Go ahead. Well, so what I think it's important to note is that just about every county right now is trying to steal your land, not just trying to get it. And they usually do it through tacit non-consensual agreements so when you signed or you registered uh to vote here when you signed a, a marriage certificate when you signed your children into the hospital when you signed their birth certificate when you signed your driver's license all of these things are scams to not only steal everything that you own your entire estate your children and your land no, the way that they've actually stolen the land is quite fascinating. They just created an overlay of zip codes, then they claim them. But the thing about it is they can't claim your land. Land can only be passed from one sovereign to the next. It cannot be passed to a foreign corporation. So what they're doing is they're claiming your land because you haven't. And that way, when you die, they can take it from your heirs. So that's whoa, 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 whoa. It's hard. Whoa. Now, now, I can tell that they have been listening because they're repeating me verbatim. It's, it's not just a little bit, it's verbatim. It's verbatim. Now, okay, which is fine, but at the same time, I hate the fact that this has to happen this way because my skin complexion is colored and her skin complexion is pale, they're probably going to give her the credit for stating this. And I have been, I mean, I'm talking about, I could create a whole hour and a half, maybe two hour video, clipping myself stating that exact same statement verbatim. And that's not fair. And the reason why, hold on. And before I go any further, the reason why I'm pointing that out is because now my people are probably going to take this seriously just because you see a pale woman stating it. And that's not fair to me. I did all the work. I wasn't just coming up on here talking. I grabbed government records. I put that shit on screen. All that editing I had to do recording and all that writing and then this woman come up in here and repeat me verbatim and she gonna get all the credit that's not fair to me that is not fair to me it's so much information that i put out there that i allowed people to repeat some of them were giving me credit, but not all. And even my own people would do it. It's not just, this ain't no race thing. My own people would do the same thing. Regurgitate everything that I state verbatim and don't give me no credit. That's bull, okay? That's bull. I worked too hard for this. Matter of fact, I worked so hard that I haven't went to sleep in two days. Right now. And she, I mean, again, I'm glad that this information is spreading, but it gets even deeper 
in a second. I'm about to play it. Watch. It gets even deeper. Watch this. That's why we need to get a little smarter about operating in the private, setting up our own private trust, and claiming our land. It's like far and away. All you need is a bunch of... ...from your heirs. So that's why we need to get a little smarter about operating in the private, setting up our own private trust, and See? claiming our land. It's like far and away. All you and claiming our land... Oh, okay. Watch. He needs a bunch of little, you know, white flags and some posts so you can get your meets and bounds. Even my example. Down to my example. The white flag raising. This is how you know they listening to me. She used my example. Remember during that live stream? Y'all should remember this. When I heard that, I was like, what the f Really? You not gonna say my name that one time in here? The white flag example? No way. I, I, okay, but let's keep going. It's not like she wrong though. Of course not, cause I know I'm not wrong. Of our own private trust and claiming our land. It's like far and away. All you need is a bunch of little, you know, white flags and some posts so you can get your meets and bounds and then you can claim your land and therefore you can then pass it on to your heirs. So one of the things we're doing immediately for operational restoration is we're setting up a PMA, a social compact, wherein we're providing refuge for people that want to come back and get their land back from the county. We're talking 4.5 million people in Maricopa County of which they have every single person this right here this maricopa county this is in arizona office which means no one's here working no one's even here all these working. days they march 13th and they're just banking on the fact that you're gonna die and they're all running them. around in there because they so see if i may uh the way how the way how it's done so you have you can tell who the cameraman liking that can be only described in physical means and bounds and um, when you when you go to purchase a property, let's actually wait for the gentleman to, to hear this. The sheriffs are there. I I swear, never mind. Let me keep going. When you go to purchase a property, you have a realtor, right? And they show you the actual land. They show you. The, the front yard, they show you the backyard, they show you the house, you walk through the house, right? You love the barbecue and say, yeah, I want this house, okay? Then they shove you through this escrow process and at the end, they they create deed. Deed of trust, warranty deed, corporate deed, oh or some kind of oh. deed. And in that moment, what they've done, they, they take in the description of the land and they took you into a fiction. Okay, mm -hmm. and the way how they do it, as, as uh, Mickey was saying, through the assessor. So when our country was invaded, they created this federal territory overlay on top. Oh, 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 what? what? Say it again. You said when what? The way how they do it, as, as uh, Mickey was saying, through the assessor. So when our country was invaded. When our country was invaded? Clearly, lady, you have an accent. You're from... Y'all see what the point is? Y'all see the point? Y'all chat. Chat. I ain't, okay. Now hear me out. I don't have no problem with foreigners working with us. For us. But lady, you got a country to go back to. This is our land right here. What do you mean our country was invaded? Y'all see the big picture that's happening right now? This is a, she gotta be, she, I was gonna say Russian, but she sound like, not Russian, she sounds, um, what's the other one? The, I believe it starts with the A. She's not from here. No, nah, not Polish. She not Polish. I'll, 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 it's gonna come to me armenian right armenian that's it no 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 armenian that's right that's what she is she got that accent but it's not like she lying though okay again they wrote down everything that i stated and running with it for whose benefit now whose benefit that's what you need to y'all need to understand 
if you are American, that's what you need to understand. We have foreigners coming over here saying our country and referring to this land. This is a big problem. Took you into a fiction, okay? Mm -hmm. And the way how they do it, as, as uh, Mickey was saying, through the assessor. So when our country was invaded, they created this federal territory overlay on top of the land. So the actual land is described in the meets and bounds, which is which is um, uh, done through the surveyors, licensed surveyors map. Land so surveyors. One map that's describing the actual land. And remember, I showed y'all the surveyor map, and it also breaks it down in lots. I'm talking about bit by bit. This is they. Well, oh, I'm not. I'm trying not to get upset, but this is upsetting because I did so much freaking work and they taking credit. Not only are they taking credit, they telling of the foreigners this, not us. This is benefiting other foreigners. That's what y'all need to understand. Yeah, this is in Arizona, Arizona in that same state. Why I showed y'all they were sending all them foreigners in. They were in, uh, well, remember that video I showed y'all was lined up full of people from Asia? Lined up. Remember that video? It was a live stream and they were dressed clean, had on fresh clothes, expensive clothes. Somebody had a Louis Vuitton bag and all of that. That was in Arizona. Not only that, remember that video that I showed y'all where, um, that newscast, I'm trying to remember that station, I forgot, but it was the same video uh, where the news station was exposing that the so-called Native Americans did not, uh, did not have birth certificates, but they needed to go to Arizona to get it right. And remember they had to have seven forms of identification. Y'all remember that, right? It's pointing right back to Arizona. It's and bounds. It basically tells you from this pipe to this pipe, there is so much, you know, feed. Then you have to go at that degree to the next pipe. And you that's how you describe the Legal actual no lawful description. There is a difference between that. So lawful description. The legal description is then when they take it at the end of escrow into the fiction. And mm -hmm. that's the assessor's map. And, and they that's did the fact it so though. they can assess the property taxes mm -hmm. because you cannot tax private land, Whoa. but you can tax an estate, and that's how they oh. do it. They Hello? Hello? Now, she, I'm not even again, even though she's foreign, and even though she's talking to foreigners, since y'all ain't gonna believe me. She's telling the truth. The property taxes, mm -hmm. because you cannot tax private land. What I say? You can tax an estate, and that's what I say about the estate. That's the state. This is why you paying taxes. That's how they do it? That they take the surveyor's map, they create another map uh, through the assessor's office called the assessor's map. Yeah. And now this land is no longer described in the physical meets and bounds, but it's described through a legal description, through a new map that, that was created yeah. in order for them to take you in the, I call it the legal, legal la la land, okay, mm -hmm. into the Federal. fiction. And you think you are buying a property, but no, you are actually buying um, an interest on their parcel and the way how you know is just read your deed in your deed it will tell you that you are tenant. a tenant come on I be, you get look verbatim she's repeating me verbatim um an interest on their parcel and the way how you know is just read your deed in your deed it will tell you that you are a tenant mm -hmm. How can you own a property and be a tenant? And how come uh, if you paid all your property, if you paid for the house that you own, how come, let's say you get a disease and something bad happens to you and you cannot no longer afford to pay the property taxes, that the county can come and steal your house that it's paid for? How is that done? Again, this information is out on my channel in full detail, just in case y'all need more information. This is how it's done. 
Sold and, for and, fraud. and people don't even realize that actually they are not foreclosing on the actual land, but they are foreclosing on a fiction, on APN number, which doesn't exist. It only exists as a creation of the mind. Okay, so the solution oh is people goodness. need to Red wake Bader. up and they need to make claim to the land that's actually sitting abundant. It's mm. abundant. It's, it's everywhere. Abundant. It's abundant. And, this and, is how you win every war, is the land. They knew that. They knew they had to con us out of our land. And Our land? Listen, y'all. Abundant. This is how you know they repeating what I'm stating. They're claiming it. These are... Now, maybe not this, not, not the lady to the left, but that lady right there, definitely a foreigner. Hands down to the right. She's a foreigner. And they are saying our land. <laughs> Come on, man. It's abundant. It's, it's abundant. everywhere. It's abundant. And, and, this and, is how you win every war, is the land. They knew that. They knew they had to con us And even our... before they got here, this was our land. Even before they got here. Because if you really think about it, they foreigners also. This was our land. But to claim, see, the stuff that was happening dealing with the government, you know, the, the, the de facto government, all of that stuff stemmed from the 1700s. This is the reason why I was telling y'all who was in charge, the Puritan way of life. The Puritans were in charge at the time. They pushed away the Catholics and the Puritans stepped in. And by the way, that's who Illuminati is, just in case y'all didn't know that. Those were so-called the illuminated ones. They were invested in going against the Catholics because they felt as though, you know, the Catholics had too much power. For example, i.e. Um, Robert, I mean, yeah, Robert Kennedy Jr., right? Was it Jr.? Or, or Kennedy. Kennedy for sure was a Catholic. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he was the last Catholic president that they allowed. Now, certain people going to say that Joe Biden is Catholic. And I think that's cap. The reason why is because I don't even think Joe Biden is alive. But anyway... Let's keep it moving. Land and keep us poor and keep us poor generation to generation to generation so that they could basically just steal our country. And right. Right. And the, 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 the steal our country, huh? And, slaves and, we are all and what's slaves the word, the word mortgage comes from uh, the, rap, the root word mort, which is mortician, and gauge, which is wish. So a mortgage is a 30 year sentence with interest. The death wish. The death yeah, wish, mort life. gauge. And they borrow <sighs> money from death your life. sister Katie Trust to pay for it. So there's so, no proof that the bank even funded it in the and, first place. Yeah, because there is no money. There is no money. Money right. was taken away uh, through the Emergency Banking Act in the 1933. So if there is what? no Money. My, the emergency banking at 1933. I put this out already. And I showed you that it was nothing but money in thin air. It's the idea. It wasn't even paper money. It's just the idea that this particular paper holds some form of currency. This is repeating me verbatim. And there's people out there that say I'm wrong too, huh? You know, they couldn't just take the money. They create, had to create a system. It's basically the credit system uh, through the trust, you know, to- Maybe I broke down the credit system? Set off or, or terminate that. If you have no way to, to pay for anything. So- Credit, I say, I explained how credit is debt. Debt is credit. So what, it, what I like to really- What's, what's to crazy is that these, these foreigners are not playing. They're listening, writing it down and like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Matter of fact, let me come over here and I, now I can capitalize off of not only me coming over here and the government going to have my back. I'm going to make sure they're going to have my back as a foreigner, because not only is the foreign relations great by way of the foreign affairs. OK, as an example, dealing with the government, international affairs, foreign affairs, same thing. They're going to turn around and take the land all over again. Don't that sound familiar? from the uh the indigenous people of this landmass this don't sound familiar remember when they say history repeat itself yes it does but only if you allow it i've been trying to inform my people for the longest years and years and years and years that this government is the enemy the enemy and i explained why i i even got government workers on my side a lot of them quit their jobs People left the military. I'm not trying to, that, that's not me bragging, but it's to the point where they just got so upset that there was so much stuff being held back uh, from them to the point where they were purposely being drowned out for that reason so they won't ever find out. And then I come along 2015, 2016, and I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. They gonna call me radical. I'm this, I'm that, and the third. Oh, he against the God. Listen, I'm not against a foreign government. 
I'm against the foreign government that's trying to control people that ain't theirs. A government shouldn't have control over a people. People should have control over its government. And then I explained to you how we didn't create this government. Notice how they are even stating that this is a foreign government. And I've been saying this for years. I told you that this government I'm talking about is being controlled by remote control. They not The people that run it are not even here. I dare you to try to walk up on Joe Biden to get a picture. I'll pay you $1,000 if you get a picture with Joe Biden. I'll pay you $1,000. I don't believe he's real. And the only way we're going to find out if he is, is we right there and pull on his face to see if that person ain't wearing a mask. You know how good that makeup could be. I mean, we see it in Hollywood all the time. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to keep going. If you look at, at all the foreclosures where people, people's lives were ruined, where families were ruined, you know, people committed suicide mm -hmm. for nothing, mm -hmm. okay, for nothing, because they left a land that they settled on. This is the American dream that you can, you can own a land, See? you can, you can, you know, nurture the land, you can live from the land, and then you pass it to your heirs. She's purposely telling you that this is an American dream. She had a accent to that. She ain't from here, but the American dream, repeating it to foreigners, the whole purpose. That's the whole purpose. This ain't for us. This to let the foreigners be on alert that you can live the American dream. Take the land. Listen, y'all. Y'all don't want to listen to me, but you hearing it from now and they not doing it for you. They doing it for the foreigners that keep covered over here. What Trump say the other day? I believe they passed 2 million foreigners already in a matter of months. We got to stop this. Okay, this is the American dream that so many brave men put their life to. And we just came away. So this what are we is doing? what we call to people. You need to claim the land that you settled yeah. on. You are the settler. <laughs> and, then, and then you basically have to notice the county. Hey, listen, I am no longer participating in this federal territory overlay. And you know, I actually would like to invite you, come and locate the APN number. Come and locate your number on my property. Because I think it's trespassing on my property. Mm -hmm. and of course, they won't be able to, right? So we can return the APN number to them, right? And once you return the APN number, it's no longer on your property. And should the APN number come back to your property, well, now it's subjected to $5,000 per day per person trespass fee. Now, <laughs> Verbatim! Even all the way down to the paperwork that I did put out, as far as the research on this. I, I Okay, all right, so one thing that she is going to miss here is the fact that not only can you utilize that same number against them by way of your property, but you could also utilize that same number against them by way of your business. For example, them same nine digit numbers that they assign you the social security number. What, what about the EIN? Okay. The employee identification number that can be either handed back to them or you could take it away from them since it was done in de facto. Anyway, if you put that EIN inside of your trust, it's now your property. It's now your property. And again, there's no complete, I'm talking about clear cut legislation indicating that you have to pay taxes on top of that. Now, property taxes maybe, but we still can't pinpoint a legislation that say that, hey, paying this particular tax by way of the state tax code, the federal tax code, local government tax code is mandatory. That still ain't out right now. And people are still doing it by way of agreement, by way of fear mongering. People are still doing that for that reason only. They have no proof that we should pay for anything. Just like, I mean, be paying for taxes, but just like the paper money. For example, we are agreeing that green, this particular green printed paper money by way of the Department of Treasury, IMF, International Monetary Fund, is controlling our lives. This is holding value. Oh, but if you go try to reprint it, that's not the same value. It got to have this particular ink. This is a game. This is a game. And our people were running right toward, right towards a brick wall. I'm like, listen, 
we could stop all of this right now. All this power that they think they have and all this power that you think they have, we could pull the rug from up under their feet. We outnumber them, number one. And number two, what could they do? Oh, what, they gonna send the army? Well, yeah, damn, I mean, that's the reason why they sent us so many more immigrants over here so they could recruit them in the army. And I told you that, right? The number one thing they're gonna do is recruit those foreigners into their army. See, they, now, they don't want more true Americans in their army because they know better. If they just so happen to say, God forbid this happened, if they just so happen to say, hey, turn your back on your own people, we need this done. I mean, let's not pretend like it didn't happen before. 1921, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Greenwood District. They dropped bombs on its own people, or at least we thought, but keep in mind, that was all Niji people. Ain't their head get scratched of a so-called pale person. It was all our people. Oh, but sweep that up under the rug. Don't say nothing. Racism is this. Racism is that. But as soon as we point them out and call out their fraud, we got a problem. They called martial law that day. Martial law. Those people had heavy military artillery that day. They literally dropped bombs from army planes on the Greenwood District. And you gonna mean to tell me the government ain't had nothing to do with that? And that's the same government that's in play right now. And you trust these fools? Oh, now you trust them. Well, dang, we got a new president in there now. Really? But what law changed that was different from 1921 to now? The only thing that happened to us realistically is that our people became voters and it kicked us out of our sovereignty and put us in to becoming citizens. I showed you when citizenship was started and I showed you that citizenship was only designed to benefit white people. The term white was created 1671. Well, hold on, what year was that? Wait, now I'm forgetting the year. I believe 1671, I could be wrong on that. But I showed y'all that rule, that miscegenation law in Maryland, okay? That's when the term white became the term white. It has nothing to do with your skin complexion. It has all to do with your status within this government. Now, these people could get away with this because they have a little bit of privilege. They may black the lower entity, okay, of that particular privilege, but you're still not higher than the 1% at all. You're still not higher than the 1%, even if you claim white. Yeah, and still to this very day, once we became elected voters, we lost everything. Land, rights, everything. And people came out on camera at that time, 1950s, 1960s to be exact, and told you that we lost, I'm talking about our people, told you that we lost everything once we signed up and thinking that we were becoming first class citizenships. I mean, citizens, I said citizenships, thinking that we were becoming first class citizens and we were not. They turned us less than less than. Right now, still to this day, there's no legislation that exists that details that you are either first, second, or third class citizens. For a reason. The 13th and 14th Amendment do not utilize terms like black, African American, colored, Negro, none of that. So what makes you think that that 13th and 14th Amendment is working in your favor? What makes you think that the Constitution is working in your favor when anywhere in that writing, it doesn't state you? The forefathers of this country, the forefathers, the forefathers of who? The forefathers was foreign. The British government is foreign. This British court system that they brought over here, foreign. Those so-called Supreme Chiefs that's wearing wigs, foreign. This ain't got nothing to do with us. We don't have to agree to this crap. We shouldn't, we should not be, Indians is not supposed to be taxed. They said that multiple times. Indians are not supposed to be taxed. And then they changed it around and said, well, the Indians that are not going to be taxed are those that are going to be living on this particular reservation that we reserve for them to live at. This particular plot of land, nah, that's still government having their thumb on your neck. Or their foot rather, and their thumb on your forehead. We can't let this happen. 
and it's coming to a head now. When I'm seeing videos like this, people sending me videos like this of foreigners right now, foreigners are saying what I'm stating verbatim for their benefit. It's time for you to wake up. They said, wait a minute, Dane is right. I'd researched what he's saying. We could do this right now. And they are moving here. I can't knock them. They doing what they got to do. When are we going to do what we got to do here? What are we waiting for? They not waiting. You saw the, you saw the sheriffs right there. They not break. And there's no law to break. When you know for a fact that this government is de facto, there's no if, ands, or buts. They cannot stop you. You do what you got to do. You work in private. Everything private, your trust, your business, your name. Take that, get rid of that social security number. Take that EIN and make it yours. They don't own shit that you supposed to be owning. You got to pay for the house. And when you die, it can't go to your heirs. It go back to the bank. It go back to the government. That's fraud. Oh, because it's on this plot of land. But when you got the deed, it also states that it's on this plot of land that you purchased. Now, all of a sudden you're going, uh, go back, uh, go back on your own word. You contradicted yourself. You told me that I was paying for this house on this lot so I could own both. Now you saying it was just the, the house. You could tear the house down and you got the land. They cannot get away with this. That's fraudulent. Still to this very day, for example, my own people barely own houses. And those that do, the houses did not get passed down to the heirs. Guaranteed. They made the price of the houses sky high on off interest rates for that reason. Why did they do that? Because if you think about it, remember when I showed you in the past, in order for us to get removed off of our lands, the first go round, the initial go round, what they do, they raise the prices up. A property tax. I had the nerve to, uh huh, and had the nerve to call us Indian givers. When I tell you that it's still unincorporated land out there right now, when I told you that it means unregistered lands, that means that the government can't touch it. If you was to buy that land and put it aside of your trust, that is your land. You can name it what you want. You could do what you want. It's so much unincorporated land out here. It don't make sense in each state. Everybody turn their nose up. Well, I mean, well, the water don't go over there. Electricity don't go. Okay. So how do you think they started with these neighborhoods that we living in right now? Was electricity there? Was water there? No. You build an infrastructure, right? I mean, you go from cities to towns, or should I say towns to cities and cities to states. If they could do it, we could do it. But since they did it fraudulently, now it's time for them to come up off of that land. In order for you to know that that was your land, you go back in record. You go back just like, you know, how, I mean, I've been pointing out the deeds, the land trust, all of that, and they did too. But you, that's why genealogy is the key because the only way you're going to know it is if you go check. You heard about it in your family, right? Well, if grandma and granddaddy had land, more than likely it was stolen. You need to find that out. I showed y'all so many success stories of the people that I helped me, me, I helped get their land back. And we ain't talk about one or two acres neither. I helped them get hundreds of acres back. And that's a fact. Can't nobody say otherwise. From California to DC, all across the nation, I help people. If I could do it, you could do it. But you got to know. That's the thing. But Dane, what can we do? I'm telling you what to do. 
And I've been telling you what to do. And then it ain't gonna be no government ruling you. Ain't gonna be none of that. Ain't gonna be no, I gotta have a driver's license to drive. When that's supposed to be a commercial driver's license. Only for commercial use. You signing your you signing your rights away as soon as you go to the DMV. But see, they acting as if they are what? Department of Motor Vehicles. They are doing business as the DMV. They're a corporation too. Fraud. Fraud. Ain't no way the DMV actually bought everybody's right to travel from them. No, they did not. That's impossible. But what they did was made you fill out an application and took your rights from you just so you could get that little ID. You get put license and registration, sir. They came up with that. This is more fraudulent paperwork that they did. You don't need a license to drive. You don't need paperwork indicating that that's registered in your name. It ain't none of that goddamn business that you bought that car. My grandfather told me he got his license when he, when he was born in, in the 1930s. He got his license when he was 10. And his license was on paper. Verifying that he took a class And he passed it and he could drive at 10. I won't ever forget my grandfather telling me that. May he rest well. And all of a sudden we got all this extra scrap for no reason. I keep telling people, what do you think we were using during the so-called slave trade? What were they using? What, what currency were they using? Because that paperback, that promissory note, credit, debit, top of 1900s, 1933, made it mandatory. Woodrow Wilson. Then he turned around and said, we're going to make compulsory education. We're going to leave the liberal education for 1% of the people. And you trust this government? Trump said they ain't after me, they after you. I'm just in the way. And people be little in them? Now, like I said, if it's gonna be some brothers and sisters out there that don't share my same skin complexion, that's gonna be about this fight for real. You are gonna be about this fight for real. Don't sit up there and no, you, you gotta, I understand. Listen, I understand there's going to be some foreigners that's going to have our back. Come on. Have our back. Don't be foolish to be a government agent. I don't know this lady. I'm not calling her that. But I'm just saying, she got an accent. And she came out and said, our land. I don't know. She could be cool with that other lady. I don't know. But I ain't, you know, uh-uh. Like, <laughs> me? Now, you got to be right and exact up front. See, that's how they took Martin Luther King down. That's how they took Malcolm X down. Uh-huh. Welcoming foreigners in with open arms. Like, hey, we're going to help you. We're going to help you. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they started claiming all people, well, we're going to not only do this for black people, we're going to do this for all people. Then everybody mixed in. And didn't they say... Then it was a government agent right beside Martin Luther King, and he was from Africa on the balcony. Don't forget that. He was an FBI agent from Africa. But that's my brother. I'm not going to do anything to harm him. I'm going to protect Martin Luther King. No, no, no. I'm going to protect him. Jose Williams put that out, by the way. If y'all know who Jose Williams is, that's another right-hand man to Martin Luther King. If y'all don't see, if y'all don't know about that, look up that interview before he died. That was his last interview. Jose Williams pointed that out and aired Jesse Jackson out. 
But he said it was, yes, it was a foreigner, an African. That was a government agent right beside Martin Luther King. Um, that's, that's why I say I'm being careful with, I mean, again, I ain't got, listen, I'm against the foreign government. I don't got nothing against the foreign people, but I'm just saying, I don't know if I could trust y'all because a lot of y'all coming up in here working for the government here. Let's be real. I mean, he already hired you into their military. And I'm sure you ain't too far away from being an agent for real in one of them agencies. It's kind of difficult <clears throat> to trust some of y'all for that reason. I'm just saying. What you guys don't know about Lanka is that she is a de jure sheriff. <laughs> right after that. What you don't know about Lanka is that she's a de jure sheriff. Listen, <laughs> right after that. She's a de jure sheriff of uh, Southern California. And of Southern like California, right after that. <laughs> oh my God. What? With the accent, accent. Does your share? Woo! Brave. It means that uh, basically, as I was explaining to the to the corporate uh, sheriffs uh, down the hall here, is that you know they work for a corporation. Yeah. So when people when when people when people uh, Slave from the corporation and they claim their rights and who they are uh they we call it the correct the status that you are one of the people which is the which is the authority well then you can appoint and elect your your own sheriffs of the people right so that's the digital sheriff of the people for the people by did i just hear her say let, let me hit one, one more time what she say wait one more time so when Enslaved from the corporation and they claim their rights and who they are uh they we call it the correct the status that you are one of the people correct your status that you are one of the people okay which is the which is the authority well then which is the indigenous authority did she just say indigenous authority one more time let me hear that one more time Enslaved from the corporation and they claim their rights and who they are uh they we call it the correct the status that you are one of the people which is the which is the authority well then Whoa! Okay. You can appoint and elect your, your own sheriffs of the people, right? So that's the digital sheriff of the people, for the people, by the people. And to me, it just happened because I guess when uh, the scandemic rolled in and moms and dads were being arrested for having to wear muzzles to feed their families, mm -hmm. you know, no one, no one was standing up for them. And so I was basically teaching people how to exercise your right, how to actually have your public servants to, to serve you, not the other way way around and so that's uh, that's how i can can you imagine if every does your sheriff acted the same and how do you, have we the people it's have to, we the people have to stop putting loyalty and or authority to anyone who hasn't signed an oath of office to us when you sign an oath of office to us and you're working for us it is night and day it's yeah night and, day. and i can actually show anyone my my oath of office you know that's legitimate and it's a it's it's an honor to to to, to have it and i'm just here to serve i don't get paid so this is all she love. says she and don't get paid. I, love, I love freedom and I love America and that's what I can exactly. She love freedom, she love America. Me personally, you know, maybe maybe if I was to speak with her, but I don't know. You, you see what I'm saying? Like that's kinda but anyway, let me move off of that. Um but yeah, the whole point is, is that I wanted you all to see that this conversation is happening. Uh, but it's not really happening amongst our own. That's the problem that I'm having. And they're repeating, regurgitating what I'm stating verbatim. And they're actually coming up with their own coalitions, their own uh, meetings. They're generating their own organizations, establishing their own uh, statuses of sovereignty and getting it done and grabbing it back. Now, I could attest that I helped people out individually. I did help individual families, but when is it going to become a time when we all get together and do it right now as one unit that, i mean that's the main thing that's the main thing i mean yeah we could do it individually individually don't get me wrong because that is you know uh a form of progression in the right stages i agree with that but when all of us come together as one unit there's nothing that the government could do to us at all and i need y'all to understand that regardless there's nothing that they could do to us 